Christ, as I come before thee, Lord, I give you praise. I give you glory, I give you honor, Father, Heavenly Father, I magnify your holy name, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, O oh God. Heavenly Father, as I come before thee, I thank you because you are God of love, you are God of mercy, you are God of, pa God of patience, you are God of grace, O oh God. Fathers, I come before you in the name of Jesus Christ. Fathers, we see this beautiful day with the sun shining and it's so still, but yet, Lord God of hosts, we know in the back of our minds, in the islands of the Bahamas, this day that there's a hurricane that's on his way and heaven of father yes we are concerned lord god of hosts heaven of father in the name of jesus christ we stand in the gap and we make up the hedge oh father in the name of jesus christ but since we've heard oh god about the hurricane heading so many of your people of god are crying out for the islands oh god and for the people to repent and for you to show your mercy and your grace heaven of father in the name of jesus christ we stand in the gap as the people of God and we make up the hedge, oh God. Yes, we know we have sinned against you. Yes, we know we have turned our back against you. And so many ways as a nation, we've decided, oh God, never the Father, to trust man, oh God, and put aside our God. We decided, oh God, to take up items, oh Father, from other lands and from other nations. Oh Lord, God, and oh, in the name of Jesus Christ, as we call upon you, oh God, we ask you in Jesus name and your love and your mercy still to oh God to have mercy upon the islands of the Bahamas to have mercy upon these people because there are still so many that call upon your name there's still so many that put our faith and our trust in you oh Lord God and heaven and father in the name of Jesus Christ we still run to you to be our protector we still run to you to keep us safe we still run to you oh God that we will not suffer loss of life oh God heaven and father anywhere on our islands lord god in the name of jesus christ father we pray today even for our southern islands oh god who will feel the brunt of the hurricane first if it comes our way oh lord god of hosts we pray in the name of jesus christ that you will do hedge of protection round about father we pray lord god of hosts even if you allow the rain and you allow some flooding lord we ask you not to allow a tsunami to hit this land but to be merciful to our nation oh god as your people intercede oh god as we call upon you oh god we know that you are loving god we know that you are a merciful god oh father you said if my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn away from their wicked ways oh father hear our cry and our supplication as daniel did oh god as he repented father for the sins of the nation so this day oh god we repent for the sins of the bahama land oh lord god all the killing oh god even the father all the fornication all the adulteries oh god all the sin that we've committed when we know better lord god of hosts when we were a nation oh god where we all went to church where we all seek unto our god father where we have allowed idols to infiltrate where we oh god have allowed money and greed to overwhelm our hearts so oh, father and hell all hold on to material things lord god of hosts father in the mighty name of jesus christ yet we ask you to have mercy upon us we ask you to stretch out your hand and your loving kindness oh god because you are god as david said he prefer to fall into the hands of the almighty god and not to fall into the hands of men because god is the god that's still merciful god is the god that will hear cry of supplication unto him i thank you that you are god that hear and answer prayer this day oh lord god have mercy upon the islands of the bahamas in the mighty name of jesus christ father we pray for arms of safety the wrap around itself around us oh god especially the people of god we ask you to hedge our houses about hedge our roofs about hedge oh god our buildings about in the mighty name of jesus christ hedge our very lives about in the mighty name of jesus I speak life over this island this day. Oh Lord God, let not the oh God the angel the spirit of death prevail. Oh God, in heaven and father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, in heaven and father, we know that we are pale of this cry over and over again. But we do it once again because you are a loving God, because you are a merciful God. Father, in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. Christ, we give praise and we give glory and we give honor unto you because you are God that never faileth, because you are God that do all things well. Oh, Holy Spirit, 
of the living God. Move upon the waters of this island. Move upon the land of these islands. Oh God in heaven and Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Christ. Even if you give us a shaking, oh God, may it be a shaking that will bring souls into your kingdom, but not one of destruction, oh God, not one of death, oh God, but one where they would acknowledge that it was not for you, Lord God, that had been our help, oh God, that we would have been destroyed. Have mercy upon us, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your love and kindness. We so fall upon you. We still declare that you are the Lord God of the Bahama land. We still declare that we will have no other God beside you. Dash down every idol and every foe that come against us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we give praise and glory unto your holy name. And we thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Yes, people of God, we realize right now that we are very concerned. Our hearts and minds are concerned, but we will not fail. We know that Hurricane Matthew was on his way to the Bahamas. And yes, we know that in this case, that we have to trust God. Man can only report the weather, but we have to accept what he allow. But we know that God is a loving God. We are still trusting God to spare the Bahamas. We know that we have done wickedness. We know that we have turned our back on him. We know that we need to repent as a nation. We need to repent as a people. We even know that we need to repent as the people of God. Because so many times we walk in disobedience. But people of God, I still would like to encourage you. Trust in your God. David said that he preferred to fall into the hands of the living God. Because he know that God is a God that still shows mercy. That to fall in the hands of man. Thank God that we're not falling in the hands of man. We are falling in the hands of God. So I encourage you to pray. Pray for your homes. Pray for your families. Pray that God will protect us. Pray that good people are saying, and I'm, I know that God shows vision. And when God shows you something, sometimes He wants, He shows it to you so you can pray. Um, the prophet came and told Hez, um, Hezekiah that you're going to die. And Hezekiah did not accept that. Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and he started to pray and call certain things in remembrance. And that same prophet, God said to him, God said, I'm go back and tell Hezekiah, you are going to live. So although God is showing that there's a tsunami that's coming towards the Bahamas, but people of God, he showed it to us so we can pray and make intercession so we can appeal to his mercy and to his grace. God is a loving God. God wants, we say his goodness is to turn us to repentance. He wants the people of God to stand in the gap, to make up the hedge, to take what he says serious. We encourage the same people of God. If there's anything in your life that you need to repent of, do it today. Do it today and make up your mind that you are not going back to that and can start to follow and obey God. People of God is up to us. It depends on us whether this nation makes it or not. It's not up to the sinners because they will sin. But he said, if my people that are called by my name, yes, we all know the scripture. We quote it all the time. Let's do what God say. Let's stand in intercession. Let's repent of our sins. Let's walk in obedience to God and trust him to keep you safe, keep your family safe, put hedge of protection around the us and the islands of the Bahamas. God bless you this day, people of God. Amen.